Today I am doing PDO threads to help with upper lip lines. And PDO threads stands for polydiaxinone, which is the same material surgeons use in the OR. And that um, if they tell you, don't bother to come back, those sutures are going to dissolve. That's the same material that I am using here. And the reason we use it here or anywhere in the skin is because it will make you make collagen. So we are going to make some collagen over our patient's upper lip because we would like to make collagen everywhere, but you can put them, like I said, you can put them anywhere. We can put them above, around the eyebrow to help lift the eyebrow, the forehead to help lift the forehead. We can put them in the cheeks to help lift or the neck to lift or the breasts to lift, in the abdomen to lift. So lots of options for PDO threads. All right, ready? We're gonna start right over here. One, two, three, hallelujah, happy new year, here we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And right there. And come out. Perfect. You okay? Okay, good. The answer is yes. Okay, hold that for me. We'll give you a little break in between each one. So I like to do two or three per side. And then I will tell her to come back in eight weeks to do it again, which she's already looking forward to. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, take it away. Awesome, awesome, so easy, easy. Okay, great. Yeah, let's do one more over here. I'm gonna have you hold the ice there. Mm -hmm. More is better. <laughs> more is better, that's absolutely <laughs> true. So again, you'll do it now, you come back in eight weeks and then come back next year and do it again. I do have some people that like to do it, every time they come in for Botox, they do a little bit above their upper lip with these PDO threads because the entire time they're in there, which they'll be in there for a year, it takes a year to dissolve, they will be making you make collagen. So we love more collagen. One, two, three. Okay, here we go. Awesome, I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, and I'm out. All right, great, you did great. So we're gonna go to the other side now. Great, one, two, three. So there are all sorts of different types of PDO threads. These are the smooth ones. There are twisted ones that you could put in the lip or somewhere where you want to do get volume. So we'll use them a lot for nasolabial folds or marionettes if you want to add volume without adding, um, in addition to getting the lift. Uh, there's, like I said, there's also ones that have, I didn't say this, but there's ones that lift with barbs and those are a little bit longer, but there's no real reason for you to know what the different ones are, just that there are different ones. And just make sure you go to a provider that knows the difference between the different types of threads and which ones go where. It really has to do with what your goals are. So if our patient wanted more lip fullness and she didn't want to do filler, we could do some of the twisted ones in her lips to give her more volume there. Okay, ice one more time. And then you'll be done with me. <laughs> or I'll be done with you. I'll leave off. And you said we can do them too for up here? Yeah, you can do them around the eyebrows too. Okay, so we'll see mm -hmm. how the Agnes goes and then from yes, there. Yes, exactly. Yep. Okay, one more. One, two, three. So I like these. I do like, really like these for sleep lines, especially sleep lines anywhere, but... A lot of times people get sleep lines up in their forehead mm -hmm. going this way because they're doing this. And uh, these are great for putting into uh, sleep lines too. You can, like I said, you can really put these PDO threads anywhere. But you did great, look, now you're all done. Hooray, hooray. Mm -hmm. So if you, did those hurt a lot or? Mm -mm. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> so if you wanna find out more about PDO threads or more about any of the over 68 procedures that we do here at Rejuvenation MD. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, or online at rejuvenationmdmedspa.com.